Assalamualaikum and greeting to all panels. Today I will be introduced you with my final year project which is improving detection of DDoS attack by using entropy based clustering approach. My name is Nona Zurafika Winter Zagibi and my supervisor is Professor Maria Dr. Muhammad F. Andy bin Muhammad. Based on the abstract, we can know what is DDoS attack. So DDoS attack is distributed denial of service which uh, attacker floods a server with internet traffic so that user cannot access or connect to the website or server. It is widely used by attackers or hackers to take down a company server. DDoS attack occurs when multiple systems flood the bandwidth of resources of a targeted system. So when sending lots of packets at a certain time interval, the bandwidth will increase, meaning that DDoS attack has occurred at that time. So I propose a framework that combines entropy approach and a k-means based clustering approach to evaluate these network logs. This method will be also implemented in software-defined network, which is SDN. It is an approach to a network management to improve their network performance and monitoring. So here we have the problem statement, objective, methodology, result, and also conclusion. Looking at the problem statement, we have three, which are unreachable website will reduce user productivity. Next is attackers gain access to confidential data of the company and the user. Lastly, is a huge loss of money and time to establish a secure website since hosts generate so much harmful traffic. Uh, so, when the websites are being taken down by attackers, users cannot access the website or server. The company will take time and money and lots of money to build a secure website from scratch. And the attackers will also use the confidential data of the company and user to exploit them. For the objective, we have to identify information and signs that can be used as a forerunner to counter DDoS attack efficiently. Next is to implement and combine entropy and k clustering approach in the dataset for predicting DDoS attack. The third is to evaluate an efficient DDoS attack detection by clustering the entropy value from the attack. On the right side, we have the methodology. I am using Fox Controller and also Mininet. Mininet is used to create a topology which consists of controller, switch, and host. While Fox Controller is used to generate random entropy value during the attack. So the second diagram is the process of the DDoS attack. Here is the result. The first one is the input-output graph of the DDoS attack. You can see there's, there are four peaks, which means that during this time, the packets are being sent from source to destination. When lots of packets are being sent from source to destination, the bandwidth will increase. This shows that the bandwidth of each packet. So, when the packet has arrived at a destination, the bandwidth will decrease and reach zero. This means during this 10 seconds interval, uh, there is no activity occurs at that time. And so it goes again, the bandwidth is higher, which means that the packets are being sent from source to destination again. The next diagram is the clustering entropy value using k approach on wake up. This entropy value we get from the box controller that generate random entropy value. So we set the cluster into five using a k-means uh, algorithm, and it will automatically put entropy value to each cluster. So we successfully implement entropy method to detect the DDoS attack and each entropy values below the threshold are stored. And if an entry appears more than five times, it is assumed to be a DDoS attack. So we have improved by implementing the entropy with k-means cluster approach for the detection by clustering the entropy to its group. So for the conclusion, I am able to identify information and signs to forerunner this DDoS attack. Next is I able to implement and combine the entropy along with K-means clustering approach for the DOS attack detection. And lastly, I able to evaluate entropy value generated from the attack by implementing the K-means algorithm. For demonstration, I am using Linux. First, we open up three windows on terminal. And the first terminal windows, we will open up box controller and create a text file with the name of the attack. So next uh, window, we are going to open up Wireshark. Entering the password. And 
this is the Wireshark GUI and the last window for the terminal is you are going to create a topology using Mininet I'm entering the command so then I'm switch OBSK to put 3 that is equals to 2 and now equals to 8 controller is equals to remote uh, IP address with the 127.0.0.1 and port 6.6.3.3 Entering the password and here the mininet I'm going to create our topology with the switches uh, host and also controller next we are going to open our box controller by entering the command uh, box.py with the location of the file for the coding L3 detection entropy which will generate our entropy value and then we are going to wait until it is connected with the mininet here it is already connected next we open up um, mininet and enter to open uh, host one So we open up location of the file uh, for the Python coding that we already made, which is at custom mininet. And then on Wireshark, we enter uh, S1ETH1 to capture the packets. On host one, I enter the command to open up uh, to do the normal traffic launch. S represent the packet sent at the start and end with 65 packets and then we click enter and here's the normal traffic launch for the host one as you can see at uh, at the left side it is the entropy that been generated from the coding uh, L3 detection entropy this is the value that we want to save So we are done with the normal traffic launch. Next, we are going to open uh, the Wireshark. On Wireshark, we save the file as CSV file. Next, I'm going to open the uh, Wireshark once again to do the DDoS attack. So once open, uh, I select the S2 ETH6 which also connected to host 56 that we are going to attack uh, on mininet we open with the command SDM H4, H6 and H56 so, on host 56 I enter the script to create a text file for H56 a TCP dump file. So on node H4 and H6, which is host 4 and host 6, I open up the location of the uh, Python coding that we want, which is the attack launch coding. So also for the term uh, for the location of the file. Next, I will enter the command to run the attack launch Python coding on node on host 56, which is then 0056. Same goes to the host 6.
So it shows that it has done the attack. Now we are going to save the file. This is the uh, attack graph that shows that has been captured by Wireshark. And we are going to save the This is the normal traffic launch result that we get from Wireshark. As you may see, uh, this is the bandwidth of the packet sent from source to destination. It shows a very normal traffic, which means there is an activity during this 30 seconds interval. While this is the graph when DDoS attack has occurred, when sending lots of packets, the bandwidth will increase uh, which means that there's the this is the bandwidth of the packets sent to the destination and when it when the packets has arrived at the destination then the bandwidth will decrease and reach zero while while at zero there is no activity at that time and no packet sends to from source to destination at this moment so this four peak shows that there is a DDoS attack occur at this moment because there is a large data transmission being sent from source to destination. So this is the result on wake up for the entropy value when we cluster into five cluster. So I able to evaluate the entropy value generated from the attack by implementing the simple k-means approach.